I'm I'm having fun and I'm letting loose. I sh I'm not letting a bunch of people behind the screen, um, you know, you know, tell me what I can and can't do because I don't care. I'll do things that I love and I'll do things that I personally enjoy, you know. And I'm not afraid of the consequences because at the end of the day, all my viewers are having fun. I'm having fun personally, and I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I know my, my intentions are pure, my intentions are great, I have a good heart, and I try to be entertaining. And if some people don't like what I say sometimes, and some people don't like how I am or how I come off, that that is on them. Because nobody's perfect, okay? I'm gonna I'm put that wholeheartedly, nobody's perfect. You don't have to be a genius to find that out, which is why I hate working with the public sometimes, because people, people put on this face, they put on this like, they put on this mask, right? And they're like, they're concealing everything that they are. That like example, I'm not, I'm, I get that from a business standpoint for any job, you have to be professional, but at the same time, the same, the very same customers or the same people that come into your store are the same people who have the same type of mask that they're wearing. So they may act all pure and may act all lovey, do goody old two shoes like I'm a good boy and I'm a good girl. Well, let's be honest, uh, 95, 80, 80% of the people that you see in public who are acting very genuine and down to earth, a lot of them put on a face. When they get home, they probably smoke cigarettes, they probably drink a lot, uh, they, they probably do things unmodestly, they probably swear a lot, they probably cuss a lot, they probably do all this shit. No, they do it, they do it, but when they're, they're near public, people are afraid of what other people think of them, they're afraid of that image, you know, but for a person like me, I don't give a shit about that. I, of course, I'll, I'll, for personal benefits, I will be professional because I have to do my job. But I'm just looking from an analytical and an observant uh, viewpoint, right? I shouldn't have, you know, I nobody should have to hide who they are. Nobody should have to, as long as your intentions are good on this planet, and as long as like your your meaning in life is good, right? You're not trying to harm nobody. You're not trying to be mean to nobody. You're just being free, being yourself, and being happy on this planet. That's, that is what truly matters. And so, um, basically, just enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, and don't let, don't let anybody tell, bring you down like that. You're taking that side of you, you're taking that fun, outgoing, loving side of you, and you're turning it into a boring piece of shit. And I'm not saying every single person is a boring piece of shit. Like, people who are mainly like that are very mature and wise for the age, and, and as they should be. But then you have people who aren't like that, because everybody's, like I said, nobody's perfect, and everybody's got a completely different personality. Some guy in this room may be very quiet and modest and genuine and, and, and happy at the same time. The other person may be a fucking asshole who doesn't give a jack shit about anybody, you know. As, uh, as, uh, the Godfather says, it's only business, right? As a, as a mafia, but Don Boss says, it's only business, babe. You know? But that type of business is what I stay away from because I, I'm not sitting here saying that nobody has the right to have feelings. Nobody has the right to have emotions. Nobody has the right to have those things. But people need to also understand that the world isn't just gonna hold your hand the whole time. But most importantly, people need to understand in this uh, world that not everybody's trying to offend everybody. Not everybody's trying to hurt nobody. And not everybody's trying to come off and, and be an asshole. And, and with this whole social media bullshit, you know, when you go on Twitter and you see mobs of people hating, they're the same type of people who do the same exact shit almost. If it's not too bad, but you get what I'm trying to say. They're the same exact people who will go behind that person's back and do the same exact thing. Same with anything else on social media. Anybody who's commenting or anybody who's like saying, Oh, you know, you're bad for doing this. 
they're gonna do they're probably doing the exact same thing honestly I'm I'm autistic okay I've got Asperger's so I I, I view socialization different and so you know growing up I didn't give two shits about what people thought of me I just did whatever now I'm a little more cautious of what I do and what I say but um, I I've had to deal with uh, people treating me terribly and I've had to deal with like people basically you know telling me how this should be or telling me how I should act you know and then there's people who would distance themselves from me because of the way because of my energy, because of my outgoingness, because of my my ability to be caring towards other people, and because I was too quote unquote nice, people would come, people would stray away from that, or either stray away from it, or they would try to take advantage of me because that's what they wanted, you know. And uh, I've had experience with this whole public society bullshit for my whole life. And I've come to a great conclusion that as long as I'm not hurting nobody and I'm having fun and I'm also, you know, being myself and I'm happy with who I am and my skin and my inside, that's all I need. And that's all anyone should need. So don't, so in this world where we have a, the, the reason why I think my personal opinion and if anybody else needs to hear this. The reason why the world is so divided, and this is just my personal opinion, I don't know if anybody else will agree with me, but the reason why we're all divided, it's not just because of politics, it's because everybody is afraid to be themselves in this world, and that's the truth. Uh, everybody's afraid to open up to other people, everybody's afraid to um, be genuine, and everybody's afraid to live life normally. You know, instead of trying to, instead of trying so hard to be something that you're not, why, why even take up, take away that part of you that's with you forever? Because if you continue to take the thing that makes you who you are, you you do that to yourself. Uh, you're essentially uh, taking your soul away. You're taking that lifeness that loving and that caring personality, you're taking that away and you're saying shit like, oh, I don't want to have fun, you know, I, I'm too old for this, I'm too young for this, oh, I can be looked at as weird, ah, uh, you know, like, get that, get the fuck out of here with that shit, get out of here with that bullshit, you're not too old for nothing, you're not too young for nothing. You know, maybe for crazy activities, but you're never too old to go out and meet with new people. You're never too young to, you know, do all this other shit. You're just, you're just too damn lazy. You're just too unmotivated, uninspired. And the reason why you're unmotivated and uninspired is because you're afraid to be yourself around other people. You're afraid of what other people are going to think of you. And you're afraid of the consequences and the... It's a social, unjust, unfair society that's going to quote-unquote bring you down. In reality, at the end of the day, nobody really gives a shit. They're too focused on themselves. understand they have human-looking robots that look exactly like you. They have robots to keep the agenda going forever. This is a simulation. This is a matrix. They don't need human. They feed off of us. That's it. That's why, what do they need celebrities for when they can just clone them?